Well guys, uh, good afternoon. Uh, this afternoon we came back to the ranch. I mean, I know it's a little late, but I mean, uh, I have to continue. I got I want to get this thing, uh, this uh, frame for that R10 Chevy. I want to turn it into a rolling chassis so I can go ahead and start moving it around. Uh, I've been working around somewhat of a clutter here. So I got to get this thing out of here, clean up the floor, you know, pick up and hopefully set up the walls in this barn so that I can start working and well, a little bit nicer, cleaner environment. Uh, right now, I don't have any workbenches I'm working off the floor, so I want to stop doing that and work on building this shop and getting it where it's supposed to be. But I do have to get this frame turned into a rolling chassis so I can go ahead and roll it out of here to be able to continue working on this shop. So let me see how far I can get on this one, guys. I picked up the rotors, bearings, seals, grease, uh, so let me see if I can get those rotors on there and get those uh, uh, tires, whichever ones, just get tires on it so I can roll it and uh, free up space here so I can go ahead and clean up all this junk. Uh, let me go ahead and get started, guys. Well, guys, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up the rotor, make sure I got the right one. I picked these up at O'Reilly's. I bought them locally. So I was thinking of getting slotted rotors for this thing. When I tried to find them, I couldn't. And now that I bought these, they're offered. They they offer them on eBay. So, but, but I guess we'll just if we really want to, we'll just do them later. But these are the original stock rotors. Let me go ahead and. Uh, Get some grease in here, pack those bearings, install it, put the seal on there, flip it over, a little bit more grease in, inside the well, pack the outer bearing, slap it on here, and uh, see how they fit. All right, let me go ahead and uh, get the stuff ready. Well, guys, uh, I'm going to have to stop on this one. Uh, the bearings they gave me for the, uh, the inner bearings are way too small. They either gave me the wrong rotor or the wrong bearing, but whichever one it is, uh, I can't uh, continue with that one. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, get that differential off of that truck. Oh, one second. Let me go ahead and get the differential off of this truck. Uh, I removed the driver's side bolts on the hanger. And on the passenger side, dude, these suckers were on there, so... What I did is I cut the U-bolts. I'm gonna have to get new ones anyway, so I cut them just to make it easier to be able to get this thing out of here. So let me go ahead and air up that tire and uh, get it out of there so I can go ahead and get it over to the other frame. Well guys, uh, before I can remove this differential, I do have to remove that drive shaft. And I also have to remove or disconnect these uh, brake cables from the truck but let me see if I can get these oh. let me break them loose yeah these came off and there we go oh. Sorry about the camera moving, guys, but I do have it on the frame, and whenever I push on the wrench, truck wants to move back and camera moves. But yeah, all these broke loose, so they're coming off. I'm gonna save these little bolts. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna reuse the bolts, but I'm gonna save them. You never know.
There's one. I gotta get it. That. that thing's off. Now, brake cables. Those are fun, guys. Uh, I've got a long as bolt, roughly like five inches long, but we have to remove it. Let me go ahead and get to that one. Guys, I don't know if I can get you a better view, but this is the bolt that I have to undo completely. To get that brake cable off and this clip here and of course this cable has a little box in little uh, locking little clip that I have to undo but that one they're pretty simple it's right there so let me go ahead and get to this one I did spray it down yesterday with a WD-40 or penetrant penetrating fluid hopefully it'll make it easy but I don't think it's gonna yeah let me go ahead and get this guys I'm gonna see if this works this is the way you're supposed to do it a little quarter inch wrench holding that little box at the end of that bolt and yeah maybe I'm not going to I'm not going to make you guys wait through all this Well guys, I didn't show you the removal of that differential. I mean, it was a mess, but I got the 12 bolt on the long bed frame just to be able to move it out of the way. And I went ahead and took the 10 bolt off of the long bed. I have it right next to this frame. So let me go ahead and uh, try and wiggle that sucker under it. And uh, I don't have the U-bolts yet, but at least get it in place. Uh, I'm going to use a engine hoist to lift the back end of that uh, frame high enough to roll that rear end under that thing. So let me go ahead and uh, position the camera and start doing that. Well guys, uh, we got the differential back in place. Uh, it's not actually bolted on with U-bolt or nothing like that, but it's sitting where it's supposed to be. So all I got to do is get those U-bolts and put them on. I said I was going to re replace a U-bolt, but the ones I took off of this truck are in very good shape. So now I'm just going to go ahead and kind of clean them up a little bit and uh, reuse those bolts. As you can see, I already got the driver's light on, and they work, so let me go ahead and get the side, passenger side back on there. There's 
one. Penetrating wall, lubricant system. Sorry, sorry about the gunshots. Uh, it is dove hunting season, and our relatives do like shooting birds. Don't ask me why, but they like shooting birds, or they like shooting guns, whichever one of the two it is. There's that. And for these guys, I'm going to use the impact. I already beat the crap out of the DeWalt little uh, battery powered driver. I'm going to use the impact on this one. So you might hear the compressor kick in. All right, guys, here it goes. Make sure it's tight. Make sure it's tight. I gotta loosen this one up because of muscle. I want to keep the same threads, muscle menos. Yeah. On but on all. Ah, uh, let me lubricate this one. Pretty much good. It, uh, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. I don't know how much I actually work them to, but they're pretty tight. I think it'll hold for a roller. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's it, John. Yeah. They wouldn't have been for those bearings, dude. Uh, they gave me the wrong bearings. So if it wouldn't have been for that, we would have had tires in the front and the rear. Yeah. And now I got to go back and get the correct bearings or the correct uh, rotor position. I don't know if they messed up with the bearing or the rotor. So, 